Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. That's right. Get your fan out, girl. <laughs> get your fan <laughs> out and give us some of that tea. All right. All right. Where's your fan at? You got to pop the fan, though. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. You got to pop it. No, you got to flip the other way. Boom. <laughs> pop your fan. I already did. You ain't even hear mine. That's how good I am with it. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, let's talk about JT beefing with Little Uzi, sir, uh, Little Uzi versus alleged side chick. Now, Chris, do you know much about this? Uh, yeah, I know a lot about it. I saw it yesterday oh, online perfect. when it was unfolding. So tell us what happened, girl. And I would say, if you didn't post your man, you wouldn't have to do this. But now that we're here, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> well, this all started with Little Uzi Vert. He did a record, and he mentioned this young lady in the record. Do you have the record? I got that chrome on me. No, I got the Rex on me. As his record with Future, he mentions this lady, Saudia B. Well, JT says Saudia B is trying to get clout off of that mention and says that she's been at him, trying to holler at him in her DMs and all of that. Oh, you got your fan? Oh, you got a fan? Oh. <laughs> so now JT actually left Saudia B a voice note. Go. This done built up the courage to write me back three years later. You lame ass hoe, man. Go on head on with all that. You talking all that shit. Talk about I did everything but leave. Yeah, and he did everything but leave too. Yeah, we together. We love it here, hoe. You the same <laughs> love bitch, here, right? <laughs> that run your corny ass to Atlanta oh. with that spray paint t shirt on, saying side of your B. Cause he mentioned your ass in the song, thought you was about to start your career up, hoe, but it ain't do nothing for you behind your ass, still stuck in the slums with hand me down shoes and <laughs> from sites with your toes balled up in them. And fake ass Chanel bags. You can't even get a nigga to even take care of you. You DMing a baby daddy trying to get chose begging. Oh, you got to get your hoes up. That boy ain't even... Girl. <laughs> Imagine doing all that and then forgetting the press live. Like, you just talking to the camera. <laughs> talking to your phone. Well, that, that was a voice note. Oh, that was a voice note? That yeah. was a voice note. The who? To the, to the girl, girl. Saudi B. It was on Twitter. Oh, uh, yeah. okay, okay. All right, now, Young Miami jumped in and said, Stop arguing with that hoe. JT, mm-hmm. Uzi oh. didn't do nothing for her, neither can you. Leave a bitch where they pathetic at. Period. I go when JT and Miami say, ho, it sound like colored. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that colored where she's at. <laughs> you can't even get chose colored. <laughs> why it sound like that? Well, the man? young lady, she, you know, she went off. You, no, you don't. You love me. That's why you so updated and think you know so much about me. Pop, pop. Okay, ready? Boom. <laughs> Making up lies is even low for you. You two do much behind me. Crashing cars in the houses, murdering babies, embarrassing yourself constantly. You do everything but leave. So JT said, I hate a bitch that's fake sick on their birthday. I don't even know where that came from. We could have totally, <laughs> we could have read this like a script. I don't even, I don't even know where that came from. Well, let me ask you a, a question, Chris. Yes. Shouldn't JT be mad at Uzi for mentioning her in the first place? She should be mad at Uzi because I would have popped him. I would have boxed him in the back of his head. Mm. Why are you mentioning this lady? Trying to give her some clout. And that's what happens when you give nobody clout and then they do things like that. Mm. So, yes. All right. Well, she said. But JT, don't come for me. I love you, girl. Don't come at me on Twitter now. Now, (laughs) she said, you're delusional. Get off my ick. I'm not going back and forth over no nick. Now, who said that now? This the girl. I don't deal with. What's her name? Saudi B. Saudi B. Okay. What's she rap? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Why do you feel like you know so much about me? Obsess. Go run your car to another <laughs> house, please. Crack Obsessed. baby. JT said. You call her crack baby? Yeah. JT said, I hate a fake innocent hoe. I hate a fake innocent <laughs> color. <laughs> don't ever write me again. I ain't shame about nothing I do, but you laugh out loud. You a hot cat. I don't know what a hot cat means. Nah, that's, no, that's a, a hot re. cat. What that mean? I don't know what's a hot cat. I don't know, cat. but it sounds like a re. That's a hot cat. Mm. Well, now we have uh, JT got on her live, and this is what she said on her live. What it is, I'm, I'm, I swear to God, that's, that's, that's one going down just for, just for coming for me right on, my ba- on my bad hair day. <laughs> I want to think about you. I'll never think about you, but you're going down. <laughs> you, you are going down, huh? and don't you forget it. You're going down, colored, and don't you forget it. <laughs> On her bad head day. Listen, on her bad you head know day. what people going through, and y'all be starting mess with people. And it was like, oh, I could have very well man. been having a good day, but I'm going to take it out on you. And that's what happened. That yeah. is, she did say she's having a bad head day. So is she just projecting because she's having a bad head day? Maybe, maybe she, a mixture. Yeah, maybe it ain't that serious. She's probably tired of that girl, and she had a bad hair day. So it's a mixture of both. I don't know. But somebody left a comment. It was like, imagine fighting over a man that's wearing a skirt. 
And JT said, I'm doing it. <laughs> Imagine because I'm doing it right now. So I don't know where it came from. I don't you know, know where Uzi it started. caused all this confusion. He did. Just mm-hmm. like at the BET Awards with Ice Spice when she mm-hmm. threw her phone at him. Mm-hmm. Lil Uzi, you got to relax. Mm-hmm. Mr. Vert. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's all I got for that one. You gave us enough. I gave, I gave you. You could put your fan down now. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, I'm you like it now? You're right. Well, uh, little baby, it looks like he uh, hired Tiana Taylor as a creative director on his tour. She is Smart. signed on as creative uh, director and co-producer of Little Baby's upcoming tour. It's the Only Us tour, and the role Taylor says that she'll have a say in the uh, choreog- uh, uh, choreography, production, visual content, wardrobe, and more. Listen, I know uh, you know Tiana Taylor may not have the bandwidth. But all of y'all should be hiring Tiana Taylor yeah. to, to, to do your creative. She did gave someone Walker a complete 180. That's right. Like her set dances, everything looks amazing. So she did Lotto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not too many people. Uh, and Lola, uh, Lola Brooke. Lola, Lola Brooke too. Brooke yep. too. Yeah. Lola Brooke too. It's not too many people mm-hmm. as creative as, as, as Tiana Taylor. You know, behind the camera with her visuals and the way she helps people put together their choreography and their stage show. So I don't know how much bandwidth TT got, but all of y'all should be booking Tiana Taylor yeah. for her services. She's nah. amazing. She gets busy. And pay. A, you know, I know y'all paying a top dollar, by the way. Yes. Because Tiana and Mama Nikki ain't, ain't, ain't having it no other way. <laughs> they, they definitely not playing. And shout out to TT. All right. And that is your rumor report. Now, Charlamagne, who are you giving that donkey to? Man, four after the hour. Do y'all know y'all colored know who Miranda Lambert is? <laughs> if not, we'll talk about it four after the hour. She needs to come to the front of the congregation. We'd like to have a word with her. Who that is? We'll, we'll find I'll tell you. Right. Mm-hmm. We'll get to it next. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.